y'all it's Lil Maddie in this video I'm going to be showing y'all how I install my Yolova wig so I got the alcohol in the rag I'm wiping my forehead off with the alcohol in the rag you know you got to make sure your forehead is clean because you don't want to have no dirt or nothing on there so that's what we're doing we're just wiping it off for real for real getting it all nice and clean y'all see them braids yes ignore the white stuff in my hair that's even period but y'all see y'all see y'all see so now I'm taking my Hold Me Down spray from products by Erica by J and just spraying it on there to protect my hairline from any dirt or bacteria that will come from me wearing my wig. It also helps your wig last a little longer. So I also spray it on the rack and just rub it in because I don't like for it to be just sitting there wet for real for real. So I just spray it on the rack as well and wipe around my hairline. And it just also helps with the alcohol because it doesn't like dry out your hairline. And you know if you get them bumps around your hairline that's dirt and like your skin being irritated. So this really helps with that. So try it. I'll link it in the description box down below. Okay, so now it's almost time to install the wiggy wig. So I'm just showing y'all the wig, combing it out and things like that. I did bleach it. Um, so I tried to get it to this lighter brown color. Um, so yeah, that's what y'all see. It's like bleached brown. Um, I'm going to be tinting it with the Even Lace tint. That is in the color dark brown or medium brown. One of the two. I can't really remember to be honest with y'all. But yeah, so I'm spraying it. I'm going to spray it on the inside of the wig. Get it all in there. Yes, don't get it on your nails. But I'm about to spray it all the way on there on every piece of the wig, every piece of the lace for real, for real. So yeah, basically that's it. Okay, so right now I'm blow drying it to make sure it's all dry and the lace tint is all dry. And yeah, so basically that's all I'm doing. And now I'm about to fit it to my head because you got to make sure that you put it on right. And placement is everything with your wig. So you want to make sure you put it on and place it where you want it to be. And how you want it to look before you start gluing it down and cutting off anything. So, ew, all these little facial expressions, girl, please. But, yeah, so basically I'm just fitting it on my head, clipping in the clips um, that are inside of the wig so that I can see exactly how I want it to lay on my head. And I do this for a minute because I really need my wigs to be comfortable when I wear them. Because if not, I am not going to want to wear that for that long. So, if I do plan on wearing it for a while, then I need it to be fitted on my head right so that it's not bothering me. All right, y'all see that is giving scout, baby. Don't play with your girl. It's giving very much so what lace. And it's not even glued down, baby. You feel me? It's like, what the fuck? Bitch, I'm from Baltimore. Anyway, so yeah, that's basically what it's giving. Like, it's giving scout, and I'm still fitting it to my head because I have to make sure it fits correctly because that be people's problem. They wigs, baby, we're not even going to get into it. But yeah, 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 mm-hmm, yeah. So yeah, I'm still fitting it to my head or whatever. Alright, so now that I have it fitted how I want it, I'm going to be combing back any baby hairs or little hairs that are up in the front. So that when I glue it down, I don't have to worry about nothing. I do not do the ball cap method just because I feel like sometimes it's unnecessary. Like my wig still gives scalp without me having to use that method. And plus, I just feel like the ball cap doesn't last as long as my lace lasts. So when the ball cap starts to lift, then um, my wig doesn't last as long. So I just cut it into sections so it makes it way more easier to lay your lace. So like if you have a hard time laying your lace at one time, remember to cut it. I cut it kind of crooked because I was trying to rush a little bit, a little bit. So yeah, um, don't be like me, okay? Alright y'all, so we're finally going in with the glue. I'm just going to add a few dots of bow hole to the middle part because that is where I'm going to first lay the lace. I'm going to start with that section first. And then now I'm going to go in with my rat tail comb in a few and go ahead and smooth out that glue because that's what you want to do when you first add your first dot layer you want to smooth it out as smooth as possible because if you get it real smooth then it takes less time to dry and then you can add your second layer so you want to just make sure you get that really nice and smooth y'all you see you see what i'm saying and i don't like to add it too close to my hairline but then i don't like to add too much either because i don't like for my wigs to be too far down so like no ma'am Alright, so now I'm taking my blow dryer on the cool setting and just blow drying over the first layer that I put down um, just so that I can make sure it's dry. I'm also patting it in because I want to add my next layer on top of a tacky layer already. So yes, that's key. That's key. So now I'm going in with my second layer of bolt hold and I'm just adding more dots. 
And these ones are going to be bigger and more spaced out. But then I'm just going to like go ahead and add more. Because I really want it to be tacky. Especially right there in the front. Um, and I'm going to spread it out again. Just like I did with the first layer. Alright so after I spread it out. I'm going to go with my Even Lace Spray. And that's really my favorite. Like it really has your hair stuck. Like got to be don't got nothing on Even. So then I'm just going to spray it on my comb. And I just go in and like add it to that as well. I don't spray it directly on there uh, until after. But now I'm going to add some more on there. And it's really just going to make it just like make the glue everything just way more tackier. Like I'm trying to tell y'all use that the red bottle. Then I'm going to go in and blow dry it on the cool setting again. Um, just so that it's extremely tacky when I go to lay it down and press it into my hair. So yeah, now I'm about to start pulling it down to press it in. And you just want to line it up. Make sure that you have it not too far up, but you want to make sure it's right at the beginning of the glue where it starts to meet your skin in the glue. And I'm just lining it up, making sure I press it down and don't have any bumps because you don't want no rippling in your frontal. It literally takes away from the scalp effect. So you don't want no rippling. So I'm just pulling it down and pressing it in with my fingers and just making sure I have it right and having everything lined up making sure i didn't shift my wig or anything like that now i'm about to take my comb and just back comb into everything you want to make sure that you go in with your comb and then move it back and forth so that you get the hair out the way but you also smooth out the glue underneath the lace this will really help you melt your lace into your scalp and it's going to give that skin scalp impression and it's going to make sure that your glue isn't clumpy underneath your lace and everything is just melted and give that professional look now i'm just going in and doing the same back combing technique with the dryer i actually have it on heat this time and not cool air um you want to use heat so that you can actually melt everything together um and i'm just going to back comb and dry at the same time Okay, so now I'm just finally moving on to the next side of my hair. I'm going to just be doing the same exact steps, adding the dots with my first layer and then smoothing it out and then adding my second layer and smoothing it out. So basically, it's the same steps I did in the beginning. I'm going to be doing them again on the side of my hair. Um, so now I'm just taking my comb and smoothing out that first layer and I'm just going to continue to do the same thing. So it's just really repetitive. Okay, so now I'm about to move it down to actually melt it into my scalp. So what I'm going to do, this side is a little different because I do have the ear tabs over here. Um, so you just want to smooth everything down and stretch it and pull it as far as you can and as tight as you can. And then once you get it melted in, you want to kind of equal it up to see where you want your end to be. Um, ear tabs have all been slightly a problem for me, but I'm actually starting to get really good at it now. So you just want to melt it in right before your ear. And that's just what I'm doing here. I'm just going to press it in to see where it's comfortable and keep pulling it down so that it's nice and tight. Okay, so now I'm going in with the final side and I'm just adding the glue, smoothing it out, and um, just basically doing everything that I did with the first two steps. So basically this is the last one and I'm just going to go in and smooth everything out and melt it into that scalp, baby. Okay, so I ended up having to cut my lace off off camera because um, we were having a little bit of technical difficulties. So I cut my lace off. Now I'm just going in and blow drying everything. Uh, with the lace cut off um, that way everything is melted completely and I can see if there's any extra lace that I need to cut off or where I want to um, create my baby hairs and things like that so I'm starting to just comb back everything with a rat tail comb and the blow dryer on the hot heat all right so now I'm about to go in with my foundation this is powder foundation and I'm just taking my brush and going to rub it into my skin and the lace so that everything is blending nice and well. The lace tint did its job, but I'm just going back in with some foundation just to make sure everything is even. And it truly looks like it's giving scalp at all times, period. Okay, so I'm using this clip to tell you guys that I did end up styling my hair off camera. Y'all see that it's giving scalp. I wish I did pluck it a little bit more, but that's what I did when I reinstalled the wig. But baby, it's giving nothing but scalp. Yeah. Hey y'all, so y'all just got finished watching my install video or whatever of me installing this wig. And so now I'm going to basically give y'all my initial review on the hair. And this is actually the hair review part of this video. So I'm kind of in a rush, so I'm right trying to hurry up and, you know, bip, 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 bip. But yeah, 
So, this is the hair company. Ignore the little burn on there. I'm explaining explain that, but yeah. So, basically, I'm about to give you all the specs on this hair. This hair came from Yolova Hair. Um, they had emailed me about reviewing their wig. And I've had this hair almost a month. I've been sitting on this wig for almost a month. And I'm about to tell y'all why I did not originally record this actual part of the video until now. Because the install part of the video, I actually recorded uh, two days after the hair came to me. But the reason why... It took me so long to actually put up this review and actually do this portion of the video. It's because the wig would not stay on my head long enough for me to get to a review. Like, I'm about to let y'all know some shit, okay? But, when I got the wig, it came in this box. I burnt it with my hot comb. I don't know. Yeah, anyway. And inside the box, the packaging is really cute. Like, you feel me? It's really cute. It came inside this little bag. The bag is all dirty because I, I'm a mess. But, yeah. It came in this bag, and it says Yolova. And then it came with some lashes. Let me put it together so y'all can see how it looks. It came with these lashes. Um, I would never wear these lashes because what? No. Plus, I don't like strips. But anyway, yeah. Oh, and lash glue came with the two. And it also came with tweezers, which I thought was different because a lot of hair companies don't send you tweezers. They just, you know, send you stuff. These tweezers are kind of good. I don't pluck with, I didn't pluck with these, but they're not, but they're not bad tweezers at all. Um, and yeah, so that's how that, that came. And then inside of the packet, the box, it just says their name too, with like holographic, which is really cute. But that's that. So let's get into the hair. So this is 28 inches of their kinky curly hair i bleached it and dyed it brown because you know fall whatever whatever um so yeah this is a 13 by 4 frontal yes get into it get into it um i'm gonna start with my cons of the wig and then i'm gonna start with my pros of the wig because you know overall it's really good hair though that's just that but my cons of the wig are slightly the construction of the hair the reason why I couldn't, like, the, I feel like the reason why the the lace was not sticking uh, may have been the glue I was using because I was using Boho, and Boho really doesn't work for me. Neither does Ghost Bond. I have to lay my lace down with, like, Instagram people's lace glue. So I've been using um, Pressed by, ooh, I can't even remember what her name is. I think it's Pressed by Brandy. I'm a, I'm a. I'm going to let y'all know in the description box down below the lace glue that I use. And then maybe in a different video, I'll let y'all know. But I've been using that. I use that on this install. And I actually love it. Like, it has my hair the fuck stuck. My hair, it don't move. Okay? But, yeah. So, that's what I have on my lace. It's stuck. Y'all, I don't want to pull it too hard in case it's really not stuck. And I don't got time for that. Like, I don't. But, yeah. So, it took me. Okay. So, the time that I recorded that last install um that was the first time i ever installed the wig i did not like that install because i wanted to wear my hair in the middle part and i was also kind of rushing in that install um and so i took the wig off and tried to reinstall it and when i tried to reinstall it it was not given then either the next day the wig was off frontal <laughs> off so i said what the what is going on? Like, why is this not staying? Like, at least, my frontals at least last two, three days. Like, if not a week, two, three days without them coming off. So, I was like, something not right. But when I installed it the first time, I did not like how the lace melted into my skin at all. I was not feeling the lace. The lace was not giving what it was supposed to give for it to be HD lace. I was not feeling it. So, I was like, mm, I don't really know. I'm not really feeling the lace or whatever the case may be. I tried to install it again, and I still was not feeling the lace. The lace was not doing it for me. So I was like, mm, I don't really know if I like this lace. I think it's the lace, right? So then for the third install, I installed it th another time. It wasn't given what it was supposed to give because it came off literally the next day. It was off. I tried to lay it down with like some gots. That got to be some even spray just because like I tried to hurry up and fix it the whole shit just came off so i was like oh my god this shit is not working out for me so this is my fourth time installing the wig i started like two days ago so the fact that it's still on we're doing good guys we're doing good um but yeah so i really feel like it may have been the glue but 
Also, I don't know. The lace kind of doesn't melt into the skin the way I'm used to my laces melting into my skin. Like, it gives scalp because, you know, I'm me for real. But, it doesn't give scalp immediately how it's supposed to. So, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't just melt into the skin the way I feel like it should. That's one of my cons of the week. It's not bad and it's very manageable and very workable and it, it does really do good. It just doesn't melt how I would want it to melt. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Okay. So another thing I was saying was the construction of the wig. So I'm going to try and show you all because I don't want anybody to think I'm just talking shit. I'm trying to tell you all it really was tea. So reason why this is a side part wig, you're going to like this wig for me had to be a side part. In the middle, it was not given at all. But I also have a long ass head, so it really wasn't given. But the wig, like it's supposed to be a 13 by 4 but this whole portion is the weft right and it's like crooked like literally like it goes all like this like it's crooked as hell that's all i'm gonna say like it's crooked as hell like it's not constructed on there like in a way that looks like it's just it's just crooked like it's very crooked and i don't like that because when i tried to wear my hair in the middle part you got half the hair coming up here, and then you got some back here. Like, it just wasn't given at all. Like, I didn't like how it was looking. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear it in a side part. And, you know, normally with a 13 by 4 because I always get 13 by 4s I, I don't think I ever had a 13 by 6 frontal. So, the 13 by 4s I have enough parting space in, in the middle for it to look deep enough for me to be comfortable with it. No. It was not deep at all. And I don't like when my parts don't go back far enough because it makes them look really wiggy. And I don't like that. So, on the side, you know, your, your frontal, if you've never seen a frontal, never wore a frontal, your frontal is going to be shaped like a smiley face. So, of course, your side part is going to have less parting than they would in the middle, right? This significantly has no, like, not a lot of parting space at all. Which is fine because... Small, mm, side parts don't always need a lot of part and it, they, like they can get bit with a little bit of part but damn like i couldn't even swoop it because it's like the the weft is so crooked you feel me and i didn't like that so i had reached out to the company and i told them a few things before I, before i put this video up uh I, a couple weeks ago i told them like you know this is what i feel about the hair this is what's going on they told me and responded to me, nobody else had that problem, nobody else has that issue, blah, blah, blah. So I told them, I'm like, I'm not going to give you guys a bad review because the hair isn't worth a bad review for me. It's not terrible hair. The wig is not terrible. But I'm going to be honest to everybody that's watching my video. I'm going to be honest to my subscribers because I'm not about to be having y'all buying hair that I recommended and that shit is a mess. Because why? what do I look like? So, that's one thing. So, they try to tell me like, oh no, nobody else had that problem, blah, blah, blah. You can send us the wig bag. So I'm like, send y'all the wig bag. Okay, that's fine. Just know that I dyed the hair. Um, and my complaint is not with the hair. Like, it wasn't like, oh, the hair is dry. The hair is this, that, and the third. It was not with the hair. It was with the lace and the construction of the wig. So, yeah. So that is, that's just how I felt about the lace or whatever. That was it with the construction. And they tried to tell me, like, send the wig bag. I told them that I would try to install it one more time and see if I'm fucking with it. And it came out decent in this install or whatever so i wasn't you know it is what it is but that's just what that's just the tea and i'm always gonna let y'all know what the tea is i don't care about nothing i'm gonna let y'all know period like it's that simple so that's basically like my little pros oh also my cons also another con i have for this wig is this is the frontal like this is the length of the frontal I'm trying to like separate it for y'all and it, and don't like the hair that's long is literally not the frontal it's just the actual but like the bundles but this is the frontal and y'all can't really tell because i blended it really well with water and like product and curl cream but this is the frontal it's really short it's probably 18 inches this hair is 28 inches why would y'all put a 28 inch frontal on a 20 a 18 inch frontal on a 28 inch unit why because when when the hair dries if it doesn't dry how it's like this like if i touch it and it gets big like this it literally looks like two different lengths and that shit looks crazy i look like a damn poodle walk around and i don't like stuff like that i don't like the way that it looks if i was to straighten this hair which i'm probably going to do it would blend well because it's just you know all straight but for it to be curly and this much of a dramatic difference 
I'm not fucking with it. Like, I didn't like that at all. I feel like it could have at least been 22 inches and, you know, it shrink up and it wouldn't be as bad. But the fact that it's, like, literally right here and then the rest of the hair is all the way down here, no. It just wasn't given what it was supposed to give at all. You feel me? Another thing that I also didn't like is this is a 150 density wig. I've had a 150 density wig. And I understand that the longer the bundle, well, the longer the bundles get, the, the, the you know, skimpier the hair get. Period. But this wig is a little thin. That's a little thin, thin. Like, I don't know. Like, for it to be curly hair, I don't like it to be too much hair. But this isn't even like, I don't know. It's really thin. Wig is really thin. It's, just it's a really thin wig. For it to be 150 density, it's pretty thin. Like, you know, I feel like it's it's pretty thin. That's just that. Um, but overall, it's not a bad wig. Like I don't, I don't want y'all to think that I'm trying to tell y'all like don't, don't shop or don't buy. Cause I'm not. It's not a bad wig. The hair dyed and bleached really well. It does really well. It doesn't shed. Like I haven't even really noticed no shedding. Like no shedding for real. It does really good. Um, the curl pattern is really nice. Like I like it. It's cool for real. It's really manageable. And I feel like I can straighten it. And that's why I like it. Because I feel like I can wear it curly and I can wear it straight for real. Another thing is like, um, the hair is really good. Like, it's really good hair. And you can really work with the wig for real. Like, you, it's really workable. You can really bip it if you're, if you're really good at that. You feel me? So, overall, like, it's not a bad wig to buy. Like, I would definitely recommend it to somebody who's looking for a quick little wig. Um... I think this wig was like two something. Uh, I'll have everything down in the description box down below, of course, um, with the company's information and things like that. But yeah, it's not a bad wig. And the hair is really good. It's super duper soft. And when I got it, it was super duper soft. It did not have no smell. It didn't smell bad. Shipping probably only took a week or if that, I think like three days for real. I don't, it didn't take that long. But because they had shipped it to me, um, yeah. It didn't take that long. It probably took like a week. Um, but yeah, overall, this hair really wasn't that bad. I really do like. I really like the wig, but I don't like the wig. Like it's that simple. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I don't like the wig, but I like the wig. You feel me? If that's explain. If that's. If that's. If you catching my drift. You feel me? Like it's good hair though. Like it's good hair. Like I really fuck with the hair. The hair is really good hair. It's really soft. Like look. And it's really true, it's really true to length. Like it's really cool for real. But that's that. Um, that's really all I have to say about the hair. Uh I've had it long enough to let y'all know what the tea is. I just haven't had it on my head long enough. You know what I mean? Because it never stayed on. But it's been on for a minute and it doesn't really get tangled that bad. I feel like uh because I did bleach it and dye it, um, it does get dry a little faster than it normally would have, probably, but it still does really well. It's really manageable still. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I just want to say thank you all for all my subscribers, everyone that supports me. Thank you so much. More videos coming soon. And Lil Maddie is out.